TFL has started burning LUNC, over 600 LUNC and almost 40 million USTC has already been burned this week. But that's not all guys, there's more burns coming, there's the shuttle bridge burns which we'll go into in a bit more detail, there's also more burns happening for USTC for Anchor and Mirror protocol, proposals are already up to burn these assets, we'll talk about that and there's lots more to discuss with Jewish protocol, meme coin so make sure you watch the video till the end at the end of the video guys i'll be doing my technical analysis for lunc and talk about could all these burns finally start the bull run for lunc there's also a proposal up for USTC, so lots of good stuff happening which i'll touch on as well so guys if you enjoyed the content guys do hit that like button and subscribe it really helps the channel out and more people can find out about lunc and a lot of the projects that are happening guys a lot of the projects that are being built on luna classic like Juris and a lot of the meme coins can bring attention to Luna Classic like all the meme coins brought attention to Solana. So if you want your LUNC, your investments to do well, support these projects, like, share these videos, also share the meme coins as well. well we'll touch on some of them in this video so guys let's get into the video the big news is tfl has started burning so we already saw some big burns happen 600 million lunc and um and 40 million USTC. These are big burns, guys. And this is just the start. There's lots more other wallets that will be burnt as well in the next few weeks. So really exciting. This is the most burns we've seen happen in the Luna Classic world in, in, in months and years. So I'm really excited. Hopefully we can catch on to a bull narrative, not just these burns, guys, because these burns are great. But if we don't see demand, not much happens, guys. We can burn as much as we want, but we need demand. We need people to actually go and buy LUNC on top of these burns that's what causes the price to go up so this is why I've been working on some of the projects like some of the meme coins because we need people to want to buy USTC could be that narrative USTC will be the best narrative but some of the other projects in Luna Classic could help as well so hopefully guys we can have some utility and some demand on top of this burns I discussed it in a lot more detail with Rexy on our spaces we do a weekly spaces if you want to be more involved in Luna Classic Classic, learn about what's going on make sure you tune you tune into our weekly spaces we go into in a lot more detail and one of the things we talked about is burning is great terra casino is burning they're one of the top 10 burners of luna classic but then the price isn't going up and the reason why the price isn't going up is there's not enough demand so you know bitcoin going up will help with that demand uh, luna classic price going up will help with that demand it could be a new narrative uh, it could be ustc it could be a project like Juris protocol or like a meme coin madness so we need one of those bull narratives to bring in some buyers and that will cause the price to go up we're already seeing price go up because people are expecting potential supply shock but we need to see more so that's the big burn the tfl burn the other big burn that i'm really excited of and you can go check this out yourself this is the wallet uh, this these are the amounts of lunc and USTC that could potentially be burnt uh, i've discussed it in a lot more detail in my previous video the post from tfl confirming that the shuttle bridge will be open for 30 days or so so we're looking at sort of end of september when the shuttle bridge will be closed and all the assets that have not been redeemed will be burned i think uh, about 3 billion or 4 billion lunc UNC has been um um, uh, redeem so there's a lot more maybe we'll have i think we'll have over 200 maybe close to 250 billion i said 200 billion because i was expecting more people to redeem their assets but maybe we'll have almost close to 250 billion lunc that will be stuck here that will be burnt again huge huge supply can we get even a small amount of demand to start pushing the LUNC price up so that's another big burn on top of that there's the mirror and anchor protocol burns so great work done by a HC crypto so they've put this proposal up I, I i read all this in my previous video and i discussed and he mentioned that the proposal was going to be up so this proposal seeks validator and community agreement to migrate mirror protocol related contracts to code id 8508 uh, to burn the assets so from uh, mirror protocol there's about four or 46 million lunc and on anchor protocol there's even more almost like a trillion seven twenty seven two nine a billion uh, USTC that could be migrated and burnt. I do recommend you go read this a long post. I covered it in my previous video. I'll tag it at the end if you want to go check that video out. But it goes into a lot more detail on how it's going to be burned and the reasoning.
things behind it so and and i think this is all in our power as well if you follow again i'm not a lawyer but if you read some of the posts from tfl and the sec case i think we've got a very it's in our right to be able to burn this so let's see how the proposal goes there could be more burns coming so really exciting lots of burns guys of lunc and ustc the next thing with all this USTC burns I want to come on to is uh, the USTC repeg. So there was a hype that we wanted developers to work on our chain and we put a bounty up for people to work on our chain and, and peg USTC. We've not seen that much demand, unfortunately, but there's a new proposal up from Vegas. I'm just trying to, I tweeted it yesterday, so I'm just trying to find that tweet, guys. So there we go. Ultimate plan for USTC repeg proposal. I'm not going to get into this uh, pr uh, repeg proposal in a lot more detail this video you can go and have a read yourself i am going to be doing a spaces with vegas next sunday the weekly spaces i mentioned at the start of the video i do them weekly with lu uh, ll69 rexy and and a uh, frag and vegas and other key members of the uh, lunc community i'll discuss this uh, prop with him in a bit more detail then in the next youtube video i could just uh, i could share with you my opinions on it but if you haven't read it guys i do recommend you read it there's been lots of inputs not just from vegas from people like igor and other people that have worked on the USTC repeg before um, and again this is not a foolproof method uh, but it, for, for it to work we need the whole support from all the validators and everyone uh, to promote this as well so I'll speak to him I'll reserve my opinion for now in the next YouTube video guys I'll share it so if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe and join into our uh, spaces that we do on Twitter where we can have a live discussion with Vegas on his uh, USTC uh, repeg idea so another really exciting news I'm going to touch on Juris protocol now guys so Jewish protocol have uh, hired another dev to work with frag which is really exciting guys i'm really excited to uh, work with him as well i've not spoken to him myself there's also updates on the llc so i wrote a thread um let me quickly run through the thread i wrote on uh on jewish protocol i talked about it in my previous uh tweet that if i get 100 likes i'll do a thread on usdc i think i got like 200 likes so i had to write it what i'm saying now is guys if i get 200 retweets i'll share with you some alpha on jewish so if you haven't already read this thread that i written go read it guys it talk about the the vision uh for uh, jewish protocols to increase on on chain activity and visibility develop practical use cases for lunc serve as a model and learning resource so we're going to promote lunc there's going to be uh, there's already a git book that you can go and read there's going to be like a maybe a link or juris academy where we can educate people to build on uh, lunc promoting lunc and stable coins so which is what i'm doing as well uh, the jewish token is a cornerstone for jewish protocols again uh, jewish protocol uh, jewish token isn't just a token that we've created out of thin air there's deflationary tokenomics you're going to be part of the protocol get fees back so this token actually has values you can read more about the tokenomics here Few things i want you to do guys if you are watching this video if you want to support l69 jewish protocol frag myself go stake something with your jewish uh validator because jewish validator buys and burns uh jewish protocol uh jewish tokens if you want the token prices to go up it's in your interest um to go stake some so if you've got some lunk hanging around or if you've got lots of stake maybe stake some with jewish protocol as well so this is more of a reason for us for the price to go up and more of a selfish reason for you if you already haven't uh, sold on staking some lunk with a uh, jewish validator it's the airdrop you've still got about two weeks uh, to get some airdrops so go stake some with jewish lunk validator uh, a million lunk is the minimum amount that you need to stake which is peanuts you could potentially be getting a nice airdrop and if we can succeed in jewish protocol guys that airdrop could be worth something in the future i go into a bit more detail on the the lunk uh, uh the, the the jewish protocol lending borrowing protocol which is going to be a fork of anchor protocol without the ustc side so don't worry about the dead spiral the challenge is going to be tvl guys so i'm not saying by this we're going to the moon what well, i am saying this is going to be a challenge but we have seen the dedication for ll69 and the team to work on jewish and make it a success if you are a Lunk holder, you might be thinking, oh, why am I going to sell my Lunk to buy Juris? But Juris is part of Lunk. For Juris to succeed, Lunk has to succeed. And Juris Protocol it will actually uh, try to topple up Community Pool and the Oracle Pools. I made a post about it before. So Juris is, you know, 
could potentially be solving one of the biggest problem Lunk has by topping up the community and Oracle pools and it will bring interest as well guys there might be people from other chains that want to try out a new lending and borrowing protocol so really exciting in terms of the latest news guys so uh, LL's uh, LL69 is busy with funding um and getting setting up the LLC to pay the devs. Frag's working with the new developer as well. So he's working with the uh, requirements for the dev that will be working on the protocol. So the, the, the dev that we've got now, the new dev, Axion, I believe. I've not spoken to him myself. He'll be working on Frag on other stuff. We've got another dev that we will be building the, the Jewish protocol, the lending borrowing protocol. So Frag's been working on confirming the requirements. As soon as the funds are ready, we can start building. And one of the key things I'd love to see you guys in, the can't promise promise you anything is having a first test net by end of the year so at the moment we're doing lots of talking but i want to see uh, some actions and something for to show for and that test net could be it so fingers crossed that we can deliver this so yeah, let's see if we can get to 100 retweets, guys. I'll drop some alpha next week. We're very close to it next week if we can get to that. So big news for Jewish Protocol, guys, and I'm really excited to see what Jewish can deliver. So guys, let's quickly move on to one of the other discussions that was brought up in the in the spaces was my Spurs team. Spurs is playing Arsenal this week, guys. And with the injuries Arsenal have, I think we could win, guys. So I've tweeted out, if you want to win $10 bets, comment below if spurs win i'll do we'll do this ten dollar giveaway so let me know in the comment section below do you think spurs have got a chance of winning or do you think spurs will probably lose again let me know in the comment section below other discussion we had on the spaces was um Rexy talked about we've been burning LUNC. Could Terra Casino do something else? So Terra Casino want to, uh, to promote the recovery of LUNC back to multi-billion uh, top 20 token. An interesting idea using allocated funds to burn on-chain Terra Classic meme tokens to promote trading value. So this will be positive for Terra Port. This will be positive for Terra Casino. And it could potentially be very positive for LUNC. So Terraport has been burning. It's one of the top 10 burners for LUNC. But we've not, we're not seeing that much interest in that as, as we had before. Because it's like an old narrative. Could this new narrative of burning and supporting tokens. So let's say they support a project. The project price is going up. It could bring in investors to that project. Which will in turn support LUNC and burn on chain as well. So could that have a bigger impact? I like this idea guys. Let me know what you guys think and let rex you know but maybe we'll talk about it in the next spaces as well like i said I've, I've been supporting terra casino burning as well in my previous few videos so very interesting idea from rexy i love that he's always trying to find ways to promote lunc and promote terra casino i think this could be something that works so we could try it if it doesn't work we could go back to doing what we were doing so i'm i, I support it and um, yeah let's see what happens with that so that's pretty much all the news guys and as always guys if there's any news any projects that are being built on LUNC that I haven't covered let me know I will cover it in my next video just comment below I'll cover it is there's a meme con you want me to cover if there's a project if there's any LUNC news let me know in the comment section below I think one news I haven't covered is there's been new dev teams that are working on LUNC which is very exciting people say LUNC is dead but there's two new development teams that are happy to follow governance kyc and build on lunc so that is another positive news i did tweet it before i've not spoken to them yet i'll keep my you know opinion to myself until i've spoken to them they've kyc and delivered but it's exciting news to see more builders coming on chain and building on our chain so very exciting as well so really happy with how the week's gone and to top it off guys it's been a very bullish week so lunk is up about 20% this week. It's held that support if you watch my previous video. At the moment, we are just chopping around here. I think if we can get those burns going, Bitcoin above 60K, LUNC above here, I think we'll go there. And that could be, again, if you're not an investor and hodler, that could be a 60, 70% trade that you could be looking to get. So that's the trade I'll be looking for. For now, I did buy this support, as you guys know. Um, I wouldn't probably trade here. I wouldn't buy spot here if you don't own any. Maybe buy a little bag, but two big trades will be if we sell off bitcoin dumps to below 60k i'll be looking to buy here again this is my buy zone i think we maybe bottom here or we bottom somewhere around here i think this is an amazing buy zone if you believe in lunc if we don't get that dip and we start breaking out this is where i would look to be buying so those are the two key levels uscc i don't really want to do technical analysis 
but the chart is looking okay i'd say it's looking like it's breaking out this is a level that we've held price before so you'd you'd assume that it's an accumulation level if we can the the repick plan i talked about i'm gonna do a lot more research on it next week we'll be doing a spaces and i'll share with you a summary in my youtube video next week i can talk about that in the next video but if that helps and there's bullish action on lunc then maybe usdc can pump as well and guys these two work together lunc and uscc if you USDC pumps is positive for LUNC and we'll see positive action LUNC price going up if LUNC pumps is also positive for USDC so they go in hand in hand so let's hope we get more burns more positive news from Jewish protocol from more burns from Terra Casino there's other projects as well Garuda um, Terratrium there's loads of other projects again I'm close to Jewish Terra Casino that's why I'm covering them um, but there's loads of other projects there's loads of other meme coins that you can support hope one of them pops off and then the big one we get some positive action on the USDC repeg where USDC starts pumping and then with the burns supply shock LUNC can go to the moon. I know there's lots of optimism, guys. I've shared with you the facts of actual burns, but I've shared with you some of the optimisms as well. If those work out, guys, it could be a very, very good next few weeks and end to the year for LUNC. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already watched my previous video where I covered some of the USDC burns in a bit more detail, go check that out. If not, guys, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next week.